well, well. Like who has this long rack. My voice shall draw you closer. Yes, that is right. I have a new video. Good job. Um, alright, so, basically doing a three-pack. Um, last time I checked, this pack was available in Walmart. But I, last time I was there was midsummer. So, yeah. Um, well, this is from Fantastic Four Rise of the Solar Surfer. I'm trying to decide which figure I'll go in first. I'll go in the one with the least accessories. The Silver Surfer. Now, let me get these figures out of the way. Now, it's a fine figure. I'm sure it looks like the new this the Silver Surfer. Yada yada yada. Okay. I know it won't show up on this camera. There's a lot of areas where the paint is badly at applicated and there's glue stains. There's just a lot of little tedious marks and stuff that they missed. And that's really disappointing. I mean, yeah, it looks kind of cool with all the black lines, like the not needed to be there black lines. But it's kind of like, why should that be there? I don't think it's supposed to be there. Um, yeah, nothing special about him. Ah! Uh, yes, he does come off this board. I'll get to that in a minute. Head can slightly move up and down, and it rotates 360 degrees. Ah. Uh, the joints are a little bit stiff. Um, the shoulder can move out like that and rotate 360 degrees. Double jointed elbow. And uh, it's kind of it. Kind of rubbery arms, which is good. Um, this thing, which bends very easily and it rotates 360 degrees. Um, hip goes out and back. Doesn't really go back because the butt goes down. Yeah, he's a flabby butt, and the legs extend and uh, double jointed knee. And then the ankle moves up and down. Oh, and the knee rotates 360 degrees. All right, I hate the board. Hold on, let me try to get in here. I basically, I have to cripple his legs. And then try to get some cool surfer pose thing going. Which... Okay. You do have to admit. That looks pretty cool. Besides the fact he's standing on a big chunk of plastic. And watch this. He's already off. I barely tapped him and he came off. A really big complaint I have with this figure. I mean... It's Silver Surfer. Shouldn't you try to make him better? Uh, here's Doctor Doom. I really like this Doctor Doom. Um, some of the, the the rubber, like right here for the hood, for down here, it's kind of ripped. Disappointing. Um, very nice face mask. Uh, that was supposed to happen. I'm Doctor Doom. I shall not kill no camera. Move off. Yeah. He has orange eyes and a very doomish face. Um, I think this looks like a really good doom. Um, articulation, arms rotate 360 degrees out, double jointed, yada yada yada. This arm can move in and out, rotate 360 degrees. And then it has this little joint right here that rotates 360 degrees. So I'll be explaining. He does all the other articulation. Except for his feet can actually rotate 360 degrees. Uh, and he comes with this big electric bolt. Um, which you just stick it in here. It's one of those annoying pull-back ones. Where is it? How's this work, guys? Oh, I know why it doesn't work. The spring's kind of broken in his arm. Um, I think I jammed something in there and it broke it. Yeah. And then we have Mr. Fan- er, uh, Mr. Fantastic. Oh yeah, I think that's it. I, I drew a blank. 
I don't know if, I guess he looks pretty movie resemblant, kind of. Um, very nice suit. Um, has rubber bendable arms. Like that. And, um, articulation, same, yada, yada, yada. Now, here's one that cool thing about the sphere. You know, so his wrist move, and he's got hand and, um, fist. Well, if you pull him off, like I'm doing so, and I know it's not the camera, and you pop him back on. Oh, God, this hurts. You can just tell that shakiness is me trying to get these on. Sometimes they can be a bit of a pain because this is a saw. You're trying to put this on. My way of putting it on is pushing it. That rubber digs into your hand and it kind of hurts. And then it comes with a shield. I really don't like the shield. It's kind of stupid. Face. Oh, God, God. But yeah. <laughs> Um, epic wall. Uh, yeah. So, that's, that's pretty much it. He's, I guess, the, the better figure. I guess. Um. Let's see if I can find it right fast. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this up. This is a the thing toy from the first movie, I believe. Uh huh. This is one of the, the better things. Um, very nice face, very blue eyes, articulation, basically DC universe. Apart from the fact that his legs can go in and out, but then they have the little ball joint that they're known for. But yeah, very nice articulation. He's got this kind of little rib action going. But um, he comes with the torch's car. Very nice license plate on the back. You just pull it out, pumps it up. You know, lift his arm up. And again, in a striking pose. There's a big button on his back, and it's like, chop. Which I'm gonna have to do like this. And there it goes. There it's inflated. So, pretty stupid little thing. But it has, this figure looks pretty sick. And, um, it has some scraping. This came this way on the knee. Which, I don't know, for the thing it actually looks pretty cool. So, yeah, so. Buy me a pizza. Subscribe to my video. We get owned.